Hey guys, in a recent development concerning the security situation in the southeast region of Nigeria, the leadership of organizing Digbo and the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipov Namdi Kano, have come together to denounce the senseless killing of security personnel by unknown armed individuals. Speaking to reporters after a three-hour meeting with Namdi Kano and the Department of State Service CSS Custody, the President General of Organizing Dibu Worldwide, Chief Emmanuel Wenyangu, expressed strong disapproval of the violent act perpetrated by what he termed as criminals. He emphasized that such actions do not represent the sentiments of the vast majority of IPOPs, including the leader, the leadership of Oranese and Namdi Kano, whom he affectionately referred to as my son. Chief Iwanyang will review that during their discussions, Namdi Kano condemned both the killings of security operatives and the seat at home directives that had been issued in the Southeast. He clarified that Kano, despite being associated with IPOV, disassociates himself from any cause for disruptions to economic activities. Regarding the seat at home directive, Chief Iwenyang emphasized is the tremendous impact on the Igbo community, highlighting uh, the importance of education and business enterprise in Igbo culture. He stressed that Namdi Kanu shares the same concern and does not endorse such actions. Moreover, Chief Iwenyangu appealed to President Ahmed Tinubu, Bolame Tinubu, to approach Namdi Kanu's detention as political matter rather than a purely judiciary one, he urged President Tinubu to leverage his political influence to facilitate Namdi Kano's release. Her lighting words he seeks as discrimination against Kano, Chief Iwanyangu pointed out that why various groups across Nigeria have been expressing their grievances, only Namdi Kano finds himself behind bars. He urged for a fair treatment of Namdi Kano, emphasizing his right to express this contentment with the prevailing socioeconomic conditions, which he believes are characterized by discrimination and lack of opportunities. In advocating for a political solution to Kano's detention, Chief Iwenyango dived into the historical content of self determination movement in Nigeria, underscoring the need for restructuring to accommodate the diverse aspirations of different regions. He cited examples from other nations like Great Britain, which have successfully managed diverse federating units while maintaining national unity. Earlier, Chief Emmanuel Wenyango led a delegation comprising notable figures such as Chief Oke, Eze Ngosu, and Dr. Simon Okoke to meet with Namdi Kano at the DS DSS headquarters. The meeting lasted for about three hours, during which the delegation engaged in discussions and meet at finding resolutions to the prevailing tensions in the region. As the Southeast uh, grapples with security challenges, the collaboration between organizing Dibo leadership and uh, Namdi Kano signifies a collective effort towards peace and dialogue, emphasizing the importance of addressing grievances through constructive engagement rather than resorting to violence. Okay. Uh, the federal government of Nigeria should look into this issue in the southeast region. As you can see, uh, 
Matador, they take another dimension. And uh, these people who do these things, they are using Mazinam the Kanu as a cover. Yes. Don't be surprised that these people who are creating this problem in the Southeast do not still want the IPOB leader, Mazinam the Kanu, to be released. You understand? So, the, 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 the whole thing now lies on the federal government's uh, path. If Mazen Namdekano is released today, I don't think we are going to, we in the other region of the country will be hearing all these issues of insecurity in the southeast region. That one will come become a thing of the past because then he will now say why you are doing what you are doing because the person you feel that you are agitating for is already out. And the young man said it the other time. He says, see, I understand what is going on in the uh, Southeast. It's, 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 it's political. You understand? People were making money from, from this. And these decent people, they are causing problems. These decent people do not want me to be released because of what they are getting. But uh, trust me, once I am, you know, I am out from this place, just give me two minutes in his, in, his, in his own words. He said, this madness will end. So why can't you just give him that benefit of doubt? That at least once he's released, all these issues of insecurity in the Southeast will end. Because people who are committing these crimes are hiding, you know, in the in the name of protesting for Mazenam the Kanu's release. So the federal government of Nigeria should also look at it that way. We want peace in this country. We want peace. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let Nigerians understand what is going on in the Nigerian political landscape. Thank you. Bye for now.